In this problem, we have a bullet that's traveling at a velocity of 400 meters per second. We're asked to find the linear momentum and the angular momentum about point O for the bullet. We're going to add our axes in here. We'll note that the bullet is a point mass. It doesn't really have any extent. So we can say that our velocity v is the velocity of the center of gravity. And we can also say that the mass moment of inertia about the bullet's center of gravity is zero. So if we consider linear momentum first, so our linear momentum j is going to equal m times the velocity at the center of gravity. That's going to be 0 0.025 kilograms times 400 meters per second in the i hat direction, as we've shown. Remember that momentum is a vector, so it will always have a direction. And we can write that the final vector of linear momentum is 10 kilograms meters per second in the i hat direction. So when we're doing equations with linear momentum in planar rigid body, we can then split this into Jx, which is 10 kilograms meters per second, and Jy, which is zero. So linear momentum, that's pretty simple. The bullet is traveling in a straight line. It isn't rotating. But we can also calculate angular momentum for this object, and it's going to be really important when we start doing conservation of momentum and impulse momentum later, to be able to calculate angular momentum for objects that are moving linearly. So in angular momentum, we note that the angular momentum k about the bullet center of gravity that would be i g omega. We know it has no extent, so it has no mass moment of inertia or resistance to rotation. So this is going to be zero. But we're not asked for the angular momentum about the bullet center of gravity. We're asked for the angular momentum of the bullet about O just before it impacts, right there. That's going to be the expression k O equals I G omega, we already know that that's zero, plus R G with respect to O crossed with M V G of the bullet. And that expression is in fact our linear momentum. Now there are two things to note here. One, the subscripts must match within this equation. And the other thing we note is we can't use the IO VO version of this equation because there's no physical meaning to VO. So R, G with respect to O, that's this vector here. Since the bullet doesn't have extent really, R, G with respect to O, that's going to be negative H in the J hat direction. And so we can write our K O as minus 0 0.6 meters, that's H J hat, crossed with 10 kilograms meters per second in the i hat. That's our j or our linear momentum. We can write that the angular momentum of the bullet about point O is 6 kilograms meters squared per second in the k hat direction. Thanks for watching this video. Find more videos and material at Mechanics Map.